Hey everybody, Dave Weiss here for the Glue Bomb Show. Well, today I have a review for you. This is on the Testers Weirdos uh, Daddy O kit. Now, as you recall, I have all the weirdos, all the original weirdos, the ones from Hawks, I have them all. But Testers brought out some that were based on the 1999 uh, Fox Kids TV show, animated show. And basically what they did was they took the original kits and re-sculpted the faces to look like the ones from the animated show. And this is how he came out. Now, I really like how this kit looks. Uh, he, he's really kind of cool. I've, like I said, I've built all the original ones, but this is a nice one to have in my collection. I have two of the three that they made. I'm still looking for the, uh, the one that was drag hag, uh, which again means something different now. Um, but they changed her name. I can't remember the name of it offhand, but that's the only one I'm looking for at this point. Uh, what this means is I will have all of the, uh, Bill Campbell design kits and the at least two of the three of the new ones. Uh, as far as how this thing goes together, it goes together pretty well. Uh, my friend Ken Warren helped me get a hold of this when he found it and set me up, and I appreciate that. But I, I really, uh, really would like to find that other one. They do show up on eBay from time to time, but um, it's just a fun kit. Uh, one thing that I did notice was there were no decals in this kit. And so usually I would have thought they would have had the decals for this side graphic. Uh, it's no matter. I took some, I uh, spray painted it with some red and some blue, uh, some yellow, excuse me, and then uh, taped it over, primed it, and painted the blue over the top. And it worked pretty well. Uh, it's not quite as beautiful as what they have on the box, but it works. Um, had a really good time with this. I always have struggled a little bit with this one because they have Daddy-O, and they used to call, just call him Daddy, but now he's Daddy-O, riding arguably to work in a coffin. And, eh, you know, husband and father is some of the greatest roles of my life, so I really don't like that idea. But I got to tell you, it's a cool looking little kit. Uh, basically, all I did was the majority of it, besides the car itself, is brush painted. I uh, brush painted the the, uh, the character completely, and after I laid in the basic colors, I laid in some different washes. I used some uh, uh, burnt sienna and burnt umber in the on the face and the hands, and then I used a combination of a, a burnt umber wash and a black wash on the uh, on his clothing, and that seemed to have done the trick. And I like how it came out. I black washed all the ridges and stuff on the car itself and uh, did some gray wash on those little smoke clouds that they give you. All in all, really went together nicely. Didn't have any major problems with it. There was a little bit of warp in those frame rails, as you can probably see, but that wasn't a major issue for this car. It's, it's supposed to be doing a burnout and, usually, and a wheelie, and when they did burnouts and wheelies, dragsters twisted. So it's really not a big deal as far as that goes. Again, uh, no decals in this kit, so you're going to have to figure out a way to, to paint that side graphic yourself. And, of course, I hand-lettered the, uh, the little signs with a Sharpie. Minor inconvenience, but and not a bad kit at all. I had a really good time with this one. Um, uh, follow the instructions. I decided it was time to mount Mr. Daddy-O here. And he ended up that I had to remove him because I couldn't get some of the parts in around it. And if I had really been paying attention to the instructions and thinking, I've built one like this before. I know how to do it. You ever done that? I know you have. <laughs> I would have realized that some of those parts aren't going to go on when he's sitting in his car. So, uh, again, minor inconvenience that could have been easily, easily alleviated by following the instructions. I advise you to do that. Anyway, this was a fun kit. Uh, I'm really excited to build. I have Davey yet for the, the, the biker, and I'm looking forward to putting him together. Um, but for now, we have Daddy-O. I think he came out pretty cool, and I look forward to building what's next. Remember, model building is supposed to be fun, so have fun. And if you like these videos, please subscribe. Uh, and share it with your friends. That's the big thing. Share it with your friends. I want to spread this channel out a little bit more. We can get a uh, get some more kits and things to review. Uh, 
Maybe some companies send me some kits so I don't have to buy them all. <laughs> but anyway, hey, I'm having a great time building these things. It's a nice pastime in my spare time, and I really enjoy it. So hopefully you are too. Model building is supposed to be fun, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.